Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a re-recording of an old school video. So, a very old school video on my channel that did very well is how to download ROMs from EMU Paradise. And I wanted to make a quick video because a friend brought up that he wanted to get PS2 ISOs. And I thought, what better way than to make a quick tutorial on how to do this. So, as far as I am aware, this only works now on Firefox on a Windows computer. or Well, Windows or Mac, but as long as you got Firefox, this works. Next, you need Tamper Monkey. If you don't have Tamper Monkey, you can just do like a... There you go. Search Tamper Monkey Firefox. It'll bring it up and you just click Install and then you're good to go. Super simple. I will have a link in the description that will take you to this user script. All you have to do to use this is just copy and paste all of this, copy, and then right click, uh, left click, sorry, on Tamper Monkey, click create new script, just highlight everything and hit paste. So you're gonna get an error because of some undefined string attribute in here. Don't worry about it it doesn't actually impact anything and then from there you just go file save and obviously I already had this saved because it's already been made but I'm going to disable that one because I don't need it but as you can see it's already here it's ready to go it's for EMU Paradise it already picked up the little uh, icon the website uses now you need to go to EMU Paradise very simple. Go to your ROMs, ISOs, and games. Go to whatever you want, whatever section you want. This only works for the games, by the way. But you just go, I want PlayStation 2, for example, because that's what my friend requested. And I want to download... I'm going to be a weeb. I want Final Fantasy. You want to scroll down to where download links used to be. And you see this workaround script. This is the difference in this in 2022 versus in like 2018 or 2019 when I recorded the original video. In, in 2022, you need to right click this and you do need to do save link as. And then you need to click save. You might get an error. Uh, let me see. You might get an error where it's like file not downloaded potential security risk click this little button click allow download boom you're good to go it'll start downloading sometimes it'll take a while sometimes it'll take no time at all like as you can see it depends on your internet connection I have gigabit so it doesn't take very long for me to download very large files but you will need something called 7-zip in order to extract the files. So you can just go 7zip.org and then just download the 64-bit Windows or whatever installer or software Windows Mac. Actually, oh, there is a Mac version, but it's a console, uh, Linux or whatever. Whatever you're on, you can download it. So once the download is done, which for me, oh my god, I'm getting 65 megabytes a second. This is going to be done in 20 seconds. This was 3.4 gigs. I can't even transfer that amount of data to a flash drive that fast. Can I? No, I don't think I can. Maybe that's USB 3 speeds, but Jesus Christ. So I'll show you that this is actually the legit ISO. I'm going to open that, and as you can see, it's the ISO for PCSX2. And if you want to use um, BIOS files, the easiest place to get the BIOS files is to BIOS archive. Just go to archive.org or search for it that way and you can just download a zip file of every BIOS file right here and you can also download them from ps2-bios.com. I've used that website as well before but archive.org is generally the place that I trust more. You can also get PS2 games off of archive.org, but I do not recommend it because the download speeds are horrendously slow. Understandable, that's not what their website is for. But 
the option is there if you find some rare stuff otherwise. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.